Hey everybody, welcome to Art Cafe and this is Shama and I'm super duper excited today as I sit with Maka Band. Well, now about Maka Band, have you heard of Maka Band? Well, the post was just, just out there to give you a suspense. But then, if I tell you the names of these individuals who are here today, you're going to be like, what? And they are going to rock this Saturday, the 4th of March in Melbourne. So, let's say hello to the team here. Hello, Rahul, hi, Alap, uh, Sainthavi and Ranjit. Hello, <laughs> Thank you for having us. It is, it is such a wonderful opportunity for all of us in Melbourne to have you guys here. So honestly, um, I, was, I just gave that pause over there about Makkah and then I just asked them, well, you know, do you know about it? The same thing happened to me actually when uh, the Melbourne, Malay, Melbourne Malaysian uh, Indian uh, Cultural <laughs> Club approached us and said, hey, we've got a show coming up. And this was, if I say it was not long ago, it will be a big lie because this was discussed really long ago okay mm -hmm. very uh, about two years back mm -hmm. the, they had this vision of bringing you down to uh, Melbourne since the last two years and finally it is so so exciting to know that you know you have finally landed here so uh, the thing was uh, she comes and tells me okay there is a band called Maka and I'm like Maka mm, all right and she's like they're an amazing band I'm like I don't know if this name would sell. So uh, she's been asking me, do you know Ranjit Govind? I'm like, yes. And how about Alap Raju? I'm like, yes, of course I do know Raju. And then she says, uh, Rahul Nambiar. So all these names are so popular and we, we, we know you. And then she finally says, how about Sainthavi? Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh wow, is she a part of Akka? And then they say, okay, so Makka features uh, Sainthavi this time when they come to Melbourne. And we were like, oh wow, the cherry on the cake. You know, it was like everything, you know, it was so absolutely wonderful to know that, you know, the entire team is here. Uh, how do you feel? Is this your maiden visit to Melbourne? So I've been to Melbourne quite a few times and the last thing, last time I came here was for the DSP show, Devishi Prasad mm -hmm. show. So we were performing to an entire community of Telugu uh, speaking people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was amazing. We did mm -hmm. a series of concerts and now, even before that I've been here a couple of times. But I think the boys, uh, Rahul and Nalap are here for the first time. time. Saindu of I've course, she has been here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I've been here before, I think 2006, 2007, uh, performed here uh, for a Tamil audience. and. Mm -hmm. uh, Back then, Madan Kaki was studying in Melbourne and uh, he was the host for the show uh, oh. for us. <laughs> okay, very interesting. So how do you find Melbourne's? I, I, I know you haven't been here for too long to really make a comment, but then? I was here just before the pandemic. 2019 is when we mm -hmm. came uh, as an entire group, I said, along with mm. Devishi Prasad. But already I think there's so much, Melbourne is like already looking so different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because so much changes I think uh, is happening now all over the world and I think Melbourne also is reflecting that but yeah it's it, it's lovely to be back <laughs> also very warm people lovely uh, of course the climate is also great now <laughs> so yeah it's super cool this is the first time uh, but the thing is I have a lot of friends in Melbourne uh, a lot of my college mates I'm from Loyola mm -hmm. a lot of my friends are in Melbourne so I'm really looking forward to that also oh wow a lot of my friends here and yeah weather is great like Ranjit said and the air is so clean man <laughs> Water, yeah coming from Chennai you feel the difference yeah, yeah? <laughs> big difference big difference yeah so again it's my first time here of course but uh, uh, I'm actually a foodie so you would have realized one of the reality shows that happens here is something that I've followed a lot mm -hmm. and of course uh, the amazing wildlife that's there here it's something that I've always watched on TV and I hope to get a glimpse of that when we get out this time. And uh, like he said, the water was amazing. So we're just looking forward to having an amazing time here. And I also will catch up with my cousin. I've not met her in quite a while. She's She lives in Melbourne, another friend of mine. So yeah, totally looking forward. <laughs> nice. Rahul, uh, so you have this um, corporate background before you, were, you know, uh, jumped into a full-time art career. Now, corporate background, like this is something that, you know, most people aspire to do, you know, like people in corporate background keep dreaming about one day when I start filming, one day when I become a director, one day when I become an actor, a singer, so many dreams out there. But then everyone is so afraid of, you know, breaking from that shackle of a comfortable job which pays you every month to stepping into a, you know, a passion, an industry which is run by passion uh, or, you know, uh, an industry that you follow your passion for towards. Tell me, how was that jump for you? 
Yeah, it it's almost like starting a business. It's you're taking a risk because you're leaving something that uh, can give you uh, a stable income, stable uh, you know profession as such, whatever you can call it. So after I finished my MCom, MBA, and stuff like that, I uh, was about to get a a, a job, mm -hmm. uh, a very well paying job for for a starter, and I had to choose between this or uh, just going back to music, where I had no idea what I'm gonna do. And till date, I've not given a demo CD to anybody. So what, whoever's called me for a song, I'm just thankful for the universe that uh, you know I got those calls. And uh, to this date, I don't know how I got into uh, got this long in music or even in this profession. Uh, each and every day, I'm just thanking the universe for whatever has happened. Yes, it's a risk, uh, you know, for somebody to jump out of a corporate job. But somebody uh, next to me as well did the same thing. He was in the IT career. And then he j he jumped out after a while. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, but it's different with Ala because Ala, your your parents were into music. You come from a lineage of amazing musicians. So uh, you know, uh, as far as you go, I think that experience of you know being within a musical family, you know, the industry, you you have a little bit of exposure into the industry. Well, <laughs> I would say exposure to music is music, probably not uh, industry. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, music was uh, uh, was there twenty four. 24/7 in my family, because my parents were busily touring until just before COVID. Also, so music was a given. But I, for some strange reason, I had no interest in music. music. Absolutely no interest <laughs> in music. Yeah, believe it or not, that's the truth. Till about 18, 19, I had no interest in music. I wouldn't go to the studio. My, we had a recording studio. My dad used to run something. He used to beg me to come and stand in front of the mic. I'll just run off to the street to play cricket. This is all I cared. Mm -hmm. Till about 18, all I had in my mind was Yeah, you talent. aspired to be a cricketer. Huh? Absolutely. You know, I was very serious about it. Uh, uh -huh. So much so that, you know, stand in front of the mirror, wear all the kit, mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. mimic Sachin and whatnot. So this was my... A typical kid growing up, you know, in the gully cricket and mm. all that. But yeah, then for some strange reason, I discovered music when I was in college and all that. Long story short, the pressure wasn't there for my parents, but they had seen the the sour side of the music yes. industry also. <laughs> so they didn't discourage me. They just, I would say, warned me. <laughs> like, are you mm. sure? Mm. That's why probably I didn't do this jump soon after my studies. I, I did work for six years, six long years for me. That was like the gruesome six years of handling pressure of IT was not easy. But uh, yeah, I have to thank my family. A big, big thank you to my family. Just add that for me as well. Yeah. <laughs> because without family support, I don't think you can have something peaceful, you know. So Absolutely. they made it very, very convenient for me. So I would thank my parents, my wife, uh, my sister. They were right by my side. And to have amazing friends mm -hmm. who were right by me. Ranjit, Rahul, or Saindu. I know Saindu for the longest time, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's wonderful that we sit here now, rejoice, thinking about the past. It's a wonderful feeling. I love the way they all address you as Saindu, Saindu. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I honestly Let me add like, Saindu Kuti. <laughs> Saindu Kuti, okay, yes. Now that we are, you know, uh, in a Malayali uh, dominated community, we'll call you Saindu Kuti. <laughs> But before I come to, come to you, Sainavi, talking about family and support, um, Ranjit, I know that your wife is also an artist. Yeah. She's a dancer. She's you a are dancer. a you're a singer. Uh, sometimes they say it's it's good to have an entire family of artists. Sometimes they say it can go <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Tell me, what is your experience? See, I think art honestly is that one place where we completely agree with each other. Mm -hmm. Also, because we are in a space where we it's complement it's 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 a yes. kind of art Some which complements each, each other. other. Because mm -hmm. it's not both of us are not singers, both of us are not dancers. Mm -hmm. So I'm a singer, she's a dancer, but mostly I dance to her tunes. <laughs> but still, <laughs> she's watching you. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I mean, she knows it. But uh, <laughs> the thing is, yeah. So it's it's nice, you know. But because even. Sometimes, yeah, situations are such that you you could uh, you will have differences of opinion and things like that. But at the end of the day, that art always brings us together. We understand, and and I think she's super understanding when it comes to my work uh, space uh, uh, because especially I'm traveling most of the time, and you know a lot of the work, especially when it comes to the kids and everything, is left to her. So she handles it beautifully, and also she takes care of her dance school, and she also makes time for her art to flourish. So yeah, we just help each other in the, in the best way that we can, Absolutely. and I think it's fun. It's been a lot of fun. Lovely. Okay, now to Sainthavi. Yeah. Sainthavi, this bubbly girl that we used to see on reality show to the, you know, one, the most popular female name who came out with the best hits uh, in the industry. That is what you are to us. 
but uh, right now just before uh, we started this uh, interview i heard from you that you know you were also the one of the voices behind the cosmic chants yeah uh, it is so fascinating to know that you know uh, because i know the process that you know uh, went behind the cosmic chants and i knew that you know most of these uh, chants were by heart mm -hmm. now you confirm that to me that yes we by heart did it how do you do all this like you know blending two different uh, you know personalities like when we hear your mainstream songs we don't think you are the person behind the cosmic <laughs> chants uh, what are you actually <laughs> actually uh, frankly if you would ask me when i was a kid if mm -hmm. i would ever sing in a movie or not uh, i would have said no mm -hmm. because I had no idea that I would become a playback singer someday down the lane. Mm. I started with, see, brought up in a typical Tambaram family mm. and everything. You are introduced to music at a very young age, whether you like it or not. You are mm. still introduced to music and chants and shlokas at a very young age. Mm. But uh, fortunately, I liked it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. I wanted to, uh, always, I, I always wanted to sing. But down the lane when i started performing for uh, you know school culturals and uh, for film music and i was part of a children's band and then uh, and uh, you know many light music uh, troops that's when i suddenly thought maybe a what if i sing for movies will it happen will it occur at some point of time in my life mm -hmm. was the so i decided i wanted to become a singer but uh, at a very young age even people used to ridicule and they used to laugh at me teachers uh, whenever you know go to the next uh, mm -hmm. class there's an orientation day where they ask you what you want to become and i always got up and said i want to become a singer mm -hmm. but uh, they will say singing and all is a hobby tell me what you what want to do with your life want seriously to do. <laughs> so that's how it was uh, but i'm glad i'm thankful to my you know all my mentors gurus my parents mainly for supporting me all the way through even till date you know mm -hmm. i'm here happily touring and able to enjoy <laughs> because my mother is taking care of my daughter back there at home so uh -huh. that that kind of support and everything and uh, now even from in laws you know mm -hmm. uh, yes just go and do your work don't stay at home that mm, kind of encouragement mm. and push and everything it requires you know for any artist for that matter absolutely, like everyone absolutely. says no everyone is thanking their own uh, family and uh, hmm. it, uh, definitely it, uh, but it you know talking about that uh, tambra uh, tambam uh, background uh, it is essential for you know some, at least some of our viewers to know that like you know in this part of the world it doesn't occur too much but then uh, if you take the wider world or you know, if you if you take india for example uh, coming from a culturally conscious orthodox background uh, there is something called shuddha sangeetam or you know expected um, carnatic yeah. music background and from there a jump or a dive into uh, cinema music it's not just about sangeetam it's about dance as well you know you call something called karna classical dancing and then you know it, the other art is absolutely ridiculed mm. there is no uh, balance sometimes you know and the other one is uh, considered not so amazing mm. uh, why is it so like you know you you shuttle between the two like with such ease uh, and you understand that you can be passionate equally about both of it exactly. yeah why do you think there is that kind of a difference and isn't it high time that you know we look beyond all that definitely i mm. think music and art itself it's beyond you know all these barriers and uh, mm. it has no barriers in fact so i'm thankful in one way because my gurus never uh, dis restricted uh, you yeah restricted me to because i've heard people having gurus who didn't want them to sing in movies or didn't want mm. them to be part of film competitions but my gurus were so sweet yeah, I've, I've and heard whenever there instances like that you know yeah. the families fall apart because you know one couldn't follow film music because the other one said no you can't do this yeah so yes hmm. so uh, my gurus were extremely encouraging and uh, in fact uh, they would be happy if i play them a movie song of mine hey nalla paadirke di every prepare like that kind of uh, my guru is like one she's like a baby you know she's the encouragement and that excitement when i play her my song i i've never seen it anywhere else so i think i'm blessed that way with peop, such people around me like like my guru always used to ask vittaik edu veli uh huh absolutely where does it go like yeah, yeah. why why do you want to fence fence uh, yeah <laughs> any kind of art sorry when skill. i don't speak i show the mudra <laughs> <laughs> mudra yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah ha huh, interesting so the one thing i've always uh, enjoyed as an artist is that you know you get to travel to so many places meet so many different people um what is the you know the best take for you as an artist like of course you live your passion 
but apart from that like for me i said traveling is something that i look forward to what have you found uh, most uh, amazing about your art apart from that you're following your passion see i think uh, art is uh, connected to people it connects people mm. basically that's the whole i think the ultimate purpose of art is connecting people and what better way like to just go and go to different places and see how much uh, your art that you have done in one little small town in 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 in, in mm-hmm. chennai mm-hmm. or in, in tamil nadu has kind of affected so many different people all over the world and it's something that you cannot really put in words because you see that excitement in them you see them uh, waiting there to listen and to hear you perform so that i think is the most uh, uh, what should i say a uh, grounding experience because when you walk up on that stage and uh, thanks to the universe we uh, all all three of us have been i mean all four of us have been part of some really massive shows where like so many 10000s 20000s 50000 people have been a, just get back. been a part of and you go out there and you stand on that stage and for a moment you look at all those people and you can't help but wonder like why are they really here and and just and the fact that they are here to actually listen to you is such a grounding experience and i think that <laughs> kind of puts you in a place that you're instantly connected with them and uh, and of course once you start performing once you start singing they are they are dancing with you they are literally um you're feeding off each other's energy absolutely you know and i think that's uh, that's uh, i don't think you can that's anything less than a meditation or like a transcendental experience totally to totally me, yeah. like you guys as makka have been doing a lot of your uh, you've been releasing your singles and i, I happen to hear azadi the track azadi uh, tell me a little more about it you know it's about freedom you uh, you mixed hindi you mixed tamil uh, it it was so beautiful you know the way it had come out tell me a little bit about azadi i think rahul will be nice <laughs> <laughs> no actually uh, like the question that you asked you know um, mm. breaking the shackles and getting mm. out of corporate uh, job and then you know getting into music uh i think that's just one of the small examples of what we actually try to cover in azadi the song itself absolutely yeah which is uh, breaking the shackles of your mind because the true freedom really lies within your mind it's not the you know the external thing that you call you know we, that you want freedom from mm. but it's mainly what is there inside your head that you want to break free from so uh, i mean that's the kind of uh, inspiration for writing that song and um uh, ranju bhai had written the tamil uh, rap and uh, i had written hindi my connection with hindi is because i was brought up in delhi for my first 12 years mm-hmm. so for a long time you know i i would usually think in hindi first and mm-hmm. then express, and then express in, in in uh, tamil or uh, english uh-huh. uh, so i had this uh, sort of feeling that you know this song could be about azadi freedom mm-hmm. we even thought of doing it in tamil but then we realized you know that will be like you know moving away and Uh, we did we did but then <laughs> but then uh, he had a much better uh, you know version for the song where he said you know let's bring in tamil rap in between uh, where we are communicating in, in tamil as well about you know vidudalai but not uh, we didn't call it vidudalai mm. <laughs> uh, so yeah that's that's basically the inspiration of creating this song and uh, mm. of course we wanted to uh, do something that's little more on the 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 rock kind of an element Uh, if we did have uh, the song slightly complicated on a 7 uh, 8 uh, time signature mm-hmm. so that's that's the only sort of difference but otherwise yeah this is how we started the song so you want to say a little more about this <laughs> probably the only addition would be it's been there in our computer for a while, for a while yes. <laughs> the song, song i think song didn't find freedom <laughs> <laughs> exactly this I, i i if i'm right i think it was 2012 yeah it's close to 10 years it's it's wow. a 10 year old Posted. tune but it's evolved the ar- arrangements have been evolved and yeah i can definitely add on the musicians who have been part of the song we have an amazing uh, set of guys who uh, performed for the song there's a guy called subani mm. from hyderabad who played a mandolin predominantly mm. but he's played some uh, very exotic instruments like bazo- bazooki and what is oud oud and bazooki yeah mm. so that uh, that's one one really lovely addition we had and uh, there's another guy called uh, vasant david he's a fantastic drummer so he's done the drums programming for the song it was not live drums but he, the, the way he programmed it kind of exceeded uh, the thoughts that we had like so it was amazing to have some amazing uh, guest musicians in our uh, song so 
yeah hopefully we don't wait so long for the next set of releases but we have a lot in the pipeline we are really working hard on it and uh, we, we are planning to do some more before we leave melbourne also that is awesome you know it's an amazing lo location to you know cover something yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. so even for us it's been a very unique uh, journey because all three of us have been in the uh, playback singing space for a very long time we've mm -hmm. had our due hits and our due recognition in that space but i feel uh, we've also been wanting to of course we came together like you asked how did this happen yeah. and then uh, of course we've been very close friends for a very long time mm -hmm. and we never miss an opportunity to meet and laugh and and most of the time it's laughter and fun and you know mm -hmm. all kinds of nonsense mm -hmm. so we also said okay you know we should extend and it and we should also kind of extend that friendship into a musical experience because mm. we are also musicians so But have somewhere in between you also had a rala up right yeah. and uske baad this happened uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> so i was the guest uh, huh. for our rala up so yeah so different you know kind of the, the journey was pretty interesting but then of course for us i think the the next le big level would be to uh, to to discover this whole new independent space that exists out there because of course we're now trying to uh, just m take this experience also into an independent space and i think azadi was one of those uh, in initial uh, initiatives because mm -hmm. of course because again it was uh, the hindi lyrics was written and most of the concept was conceived by mm -hmm. rahul on to which Ra Alap and me, we added our ideas and th things like that. So when we decided to, you know, which language to do it. So like Rahul thinks in Hindi, like he rightly said. So we decided to keep that part in Hindi, and he wrote it. And and I think independent music is all about discovering the self, unlike Absolutely. commercial film music, yes. which is always we just do what people ask and us to do. And some way you need that space, you know, in this uh, creative arena where everyone thinks that you're following passion, but sometimes you're just following what others are passionate about, and have, you're forced to give that. To the world, you know, instead of following what you want to do, and independent music is exactly where you do it. Yeah, that. yeah. Mm. Especially, I think being an uh, being a professional musician because mm. it's also the commerce that's attached to it. It's mm. not just art, right? So uh, there is a certain commerce attached to it. So you're a professional musician. You go to a particular recording where the, there is a very clear understanding of what is required out of you, mm. and you do exactly that, and then you're a successful professional musician. You know right. what I mean? So mm. those kind of things are always there. But independent music is so much about discovering the self. So we as friends, you know, we are in that journey of trying to discover what is our music. What do we want to give the world? What mm. kind of ideas? What do we want to talk about? what are the things so i think the first thing that came came up was also the idea of freedom because we are also trying to break away <laughs> from different kinds of no, shackles that, that we are stuck that is what fascinated me actually like i've i've noticed that you know you come uh, like lesser known names come together as a band once they gain the popularity they split for various reasons uh, but here you three had an individuality of your own you bring in amazing artists with you know even you know uh, this li like like minded uh, you know in like sorry not like mindedness but the same kind of career uh, wavelength mm -hmm. you know and then you you produce you know even better stuff that you know that fills in or you know fills in your soul mm -hmm. which is fascinating like and you just explain that to me like you know be uh, looking for your individuality within your space yeah yeah so that's why we also decided because i think in tamil i can mm -hmm. i can if at all something happens yeah like english and tamil and all that so i think when when the rap thing came mm -hmm. we said we'll just leave it like that i mean we don't have to stick to any format we can do whatever mm -hmm. we want and that's be most beautiful about an independent space and of course like you rightly said being able to collaborate with, with artists like sainthavi at saindu like we always call her because literally we've grown up together you know we've seen each other grow we've always uh, been fascinated by each other's growth so it's 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 the most i mean it's the best feeling ever to share space with you know artists like saindu <laughs> i'm so looking forward to you guys on saturday yeah i mean i just wanted to add that as uh -huh. well because uh what uh, ranju bhai spoke about was the independent initiative mm. now what do we do in the commercial space uh, where we go up, go out and perform film songs so yes. how do we plan that like you now he has his hits he has his hits me as well she as well so how, how do we what is makka essentially on stage when we are performing film music so that's that's when we actually brainstormed and we came up with this concept that you know uh, whenever we've actually performed other than makka mm -hmm. ranjit will come and perform his songs he'll get off stage i will come i'll get off stage this was the usual, usual pattern uh -huh. so what we decided was when it's makka three of us are going to be on stage and because alap is an amazing bass player Bases. he's already like part of the band mm -hmm. culture you know what i'm saying 
and uh, we both wanted to fit into that as well now not just as singers but we're trying our best to uh, you know impress mr alap with our music musicianship <laughs> <laughs> so um, ranjit plays the guitar sometimes i play the flute and uh, uh, mm. uh, oh he plays the ukulele, ukulele and guitar mm. and i play melodica and uh, flute sometimes so and we also double up on harmonies uh, whenever we have guest performers performing with us we you know try to add as much value so that we look like a proper band that's on stage so that's the whole concept of makka coming and giving all our inputs right on stage throughout the show i mean for, for the entire show as such and we have some uh, some beautiful concepts for this show as well uh, sal nivom uh, so we don't want to reveal too much about it but we have uh, some very uh, interesting things that we figured out just specially for this show and uh, yeah we're totally looking forward <laughs> All right. So, as a winding question for today, I'm going to ask you to fill in this for me. Uh, it's a beautiful world because. Oh, because of people like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What would you say? It's a beautiful world because. Because we exist. <laughs> Lovely. Because only then will we know it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Sainthavi? I'll come back. <laughs> uh, can you please ask me one more time? <laughs> <laughs> well, how can you? It's a beautiful world because uh, I don't know. <laughs> for one, It's for like one. Wrap up the because. Full stop. Boarding <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful world. That's if, all I think. If this. you give him time, he'll speak for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's my challenge. When you say. shorten it then i'm like i don't have i'm out of words no but i think uh, it's a beautiful world because i think we all exist here copy copy, <laughs> copy. <laughs> okay okay uh, it's okay it's okay to copy like minded people masha we geniuses we think like <laughs> it's a beautiful world because uh, we are able to do what we love and uh, what we are passionate about and uh, still be loved for all that we love to do no so <laughs> you know because not everybody gets to do what they love as a Absolutely. profession so for us we are blessed to be able to have that as a profession and we have people you know when we do it people also express their love towards us i think it's beautiful that way so thank you so it is a beautiful world because we are going to see a rocking show by makka and sign the we featuring our very own janaki as well on this saturday the 4th of march you want to tell where you're going to be so the event uh, nadakkara edam i think this i'll want to say in tamil oh my <laughs> in the in the nigalchi nadakka pora edam vand plenty ranges arts and convention center so idu vand engloda mudal nigachi as makka of course featuring the most talented sainthavi super excited a irukom neenga ellarum kandipa varano indha nigachi attend pananu a big thanks to melbourne malaysian indian cultural club for having us here uh, i think she said it very beautifully idu vandu oru naal rendu naal vishayam illa idu vandu oru almost a year ahead of plan panni engala inga varano nu solli nariya idukkaga nariya in a uh, efforts eduthu idukana or periya planning ella panni finally engle inga kondu vanda mmicc ku vanda nandrigal and thank you for this beautiful opportunity to get to speak to everybody thank you so much makka and sainthavi for being here at studio m4 it was lovely having you here and i'm looking forward to the saturday thank you thank you, thank you. <laughs>